Right, so we're back in Workplace and Apprenticeship Math 10, or WAM 10. Uh, and right now we're going to discuss word problems. Uh, word problems are daunting, people are afraid of them, they like to go in the corner and cry and hide because they look scary, like this big paragraph here, there's a bunch of numbers and words, and they're all in a sentence, I don't really know what's going on. But, when you see something like this, what I do is I read it once, and I don't do anything in it, I just read it once, I just read the whole thing through. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Wrestling season tickets cost $295. If I buy a single ticket last minute, it usually costs $30. I like cheese. If there are 20 matches per year, how many times greater is the cost of buying single tickets? Okay, so there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of things that are happening. Just so you know, um, in previous... Uh, WAM 10 exams, there's a calculator and a no, no calculator portion of the test. And this kind of problem is in the no calculator portion. And that's why people want to go in the corner and cry. Because there's all these numbers, you have to figure out what's going on, and I can't even use a calculator, that's so unfair. But we don't need one. And I'll explain to you why we don't need one. These questions usually deal with something called ratios, our friend ratios. Um, and with ratios and approximate values, we really don't need a calculator. I'll show you how this works. Okay, we've read through it once. I've already told you it's about ratios. You can assume it's about ratios, whatever you like. Now we're going to read through it again, and we're going to underline important information. You know, you're told to do this, teachers tell you to do this. This is one of those things that like comes time and time again. Nobody does it. But you really need to. You really need to underline important information. And here's why. Wrestling season tickets cost $295. I underline numbers, and I underline things that signify um, what corresponds to the numbers. So, for example, here, season tickets, 295 That cuts out that word, and that word is looking better already. If I buy a single ticket, Last minute, I don't even need to know it's last minute. Why does that matter? What if I buy it way in advance? Yeah, it just, it just doesn't matter. Um, so, no. it costs $30. Season ticket, $295. Single ticket, $30. Okay, see, underlining, it just makes, it just looks better. It makes it easier. I know sometimes, like, you just, you don't want to, but you need to do it on the exam. All right. I like cheese. I put that in there on purpose. Do you know why I put that in there? Um, I put that in there because, quite frankly, these sorts of things happen in word problem questions. Sometimes, the people who design these tests put in sentences that have nothing to do, or very little to do, with the calculation that you need to perform. Uh, and these are red herrings. That's a term that means they basically just are irrelevant. Um, and what they're doing is they're testing your ability to analyze a word problem. There do exist sentences that have nothing to do with it. They won't be as blatant as I like cheese, but there may be something like that. So if you're reading through a word problem and you end up not underlining anything, it's okay. If there are 20 matches per year, how many times greater is the cost of buying single tickets? Well, that last sentence is very, very important. So, times greater is the cost of buying single tickets. Okay, now, that was my second read-through where I underlined. Now we're going to do a third read-through of what I've just underlined. Season tickets, $295. Single ticket, $30. No, I like cheese. Not important. 20 matches per year, how many, uh, see, I said how many, so I'm going to underline that now. How many times greater the cost of, a sing, of buying single tickets? Okay, so at this point, we need to figure something out. We need to figure out the equivalent of season tickets and single tickets. Season tickets... 20 matches per year is $295. 20 
20 matches with season tickets equals 295. Okay, that's sweet, that's easy. Season tickets covers the entire season, 20 matches per year, and it's that much. 20 matches with single tickets equals, well, it's $30, but $30 is for one single ticket. I need 20 single tickets because there's 20 matches per year. 30 times 20. Now this is where you're like, I don't have a calculator. This isn't fair. But quite frankly, usually the ones that they give you are very easy to calculate. Um, something like this really isn't so bad. I mean, you can do the longhand if you want. I multiply 0 and 0 and 0 and 3 and 2 and 0 and 2 and 3 and then add all them up and do whatever. Or you can just know a shorthand. And if you look in a previous video, you'll see, multiplying the quick way, that there's two zeros here, so I had two zeros there. Two times three is six. Six hundred. Thirty dollars times twenty matches per year cost you about six hundred. Now, we know how much it costs for single tickets. We know how much it costs for season tickets for the exact same amount of matches. Now this is the last step before we finish our question, and perhaps the trickiest step. This is how you actually determine a ratio. How many times greater is the cost of buying single tickets? Hmm. How many times greater single tickets? We know single tickets is going to be bigger, which it is. I mean, 600 versus 295, or you know, just about 300. But how many times bigger is that than that? Well, if you remember in ratios, or, or just the terminology times bigger, we use division. How many times bigger is single tickets than season tickets? Now this one you are allowed to cry about, because quite frankly, 600 divided by 295 is not fun to do. It's quite lame, actually. So you're like, well, I don't know how to do that without a calculator. I mean, I could. I could do the long hand. It would take forever. But that's not really fair. Now, the nice thing is that with word problems like this, they use the term approximately. Now, I actually didn't use it in this, in this uh, paragraph because I totally forgot. But I did use one keyword, another one that they, that they use. It's this guy right here. If I buy a single ticket last minute, it usually costs $30. Usually is synonymous with approximately, in math anyway, um, meaning that this is all kind of a guess. I mean, we don't need to know exactly exactly the rate, well we do know exactly the ratio, it's 600 to 295, but we want to know, you know, about how, um, how many times greater the cost of buying single tickets is. So instead of doing 600 divided by 295, we know that 600 divided by 300 is very, very close, because 295 is only 5 away from 3. I mean, it's, it's very close. These two numbers are very close. This is an approximately equal, by the way. Some people put a dot on top. I don't know. There's all kinds of different notation. It's not a big deal right now. Anyway, um, we can cross out zeros. 6 divided by 3? 2. It's approximately 2 times greater. The cost is approximately 2 times greater if you buy single tickets as opposed to buying season tickets. That's the last step, and that's how you solve a problem like that. Uh, very important on an exam, if you see this word approximately, sorry, I didn't put it in, I totally should have, but if you see the word approximately in a word problem like this, 
you're allowed to fudge numbers like that. You're allowed to just bump it up or just bump it down if you need to make it easier to divide or multiply. And that will pretty much always happen on a question that you're not allowed to use a calculator with. So that should be a red flag. You read a big sentence, a big paragraph like this, read it through once, read it through twice and underline important things, and then read it through a third time and figure out what you need to do and if you missed anything along the way. And pick up this word. If you see this word, you know you're probably going to be, probably going to be dealing with ratios and you're allowed to fudge numbers just a little bit. All right? All right.